رمضان تجلى وابتسم طوبى للعبد إذا تنمى Muslim laborers and construction workers work in the extreme heat of the noon and can die due to heat strokes. Are they exempted from fasting? To die is a little bit of exaggeration. Yes, if they work for 12 hours, even if they're not fasting, they'll die of such a heat stroke when it's completely hot. But the hardship they're facing, is it a legitimate reason to break your fast? The answer is no, until it reaches the limit of endangering your safety or you fear, you fear that you'll faint, for example. So I know that I have to work six hours under the sun, in this extreme temperatures of heat. This is my daily job. It's not permissible for me when it's Fajr time to have breakfast and say, today is gonna be really hot, so I'm not fasting. This is not permissible. Then what is? What's permissible is that you have your suhoor, you pray Fajr, you go to work. After two, three hours, if you're dehydrated, if you're extremely tired and about to fall and you feel that you're out of power totally, only then you can eat and drink because this is a necessity. Not that you feast on it and have fun and two uh, double cheeseburgers and ice uh, uh, coke and have fun. No, you have to sustain your livelihood and what gives you power to continue work as usual but then you have to stay fasting so that you would give the day it uh, uh, sacred month uh, and, and honor it so the scholars say you cannot break your fast until you reach the actual hardship when you're home when it's fajr when it's morning and you did not start work there's no hardship so why break you have to continue fasting until you reach the level of hardship. And this goes for every day, by the way, not for the, uh, uh, a particular day. Every single day you have to wait until you reach this hardship.